You are looking live at a large fire right in South Central El Paso from the ABC 7 Mountain Cam. It has been burning since around 4 p.m. earlier in our, in our 4 and a 5 o'clock newscast. You could actually see flames all across that area. Now it looks like the firefighters are starting to put those flames out. You can see that there is a little bit of wind pushing that uh, that smoke a little bit to the left of your screen. Now we remain in that ABC 7 alert center with this breaking news story. We first brought it to you on ABC 7 at 4 and just 10 minutes ago, the fire department said they are still trying to put out the fire and about 100 firefighters are on the scene. It is happening at East Paisano Drive and Cole Street. That is where we find ABC 7 certified fire journalist Brianna Perez. Brianna. Yeah, that's right, Paul. We've been here for about an hour, and in that time, we still see firefighters trying to attack this fire now from different portions of Paisano. Let me show you what we're looking at from where I am standing here. We still see firefighters attacking the fire from up top, as well as on the opposite side of Paisano, as fire officials have told me that that fire is growing to the opposite side of Paisano, more on the south side. Now, we do know that 43 units are on scene. 100 firefighters are currently involved in this operation and we do know that no injuries have been reported at this time now in my time at the fire academy for the media training i did learn the different alarms and we have just learned that this has been upgraded to a third alarm fire that means they're calling more personnel about 30 more firefighters are coming to the scene for reference to this auto fire the hotel fire was a second alarm fire now fire officials say this is a recycling plant fire and it is often catching fire uh, fire officials tell me this isn't the first time that they've seen this and they also add that they are battling it from different sites to try to contain it and not go any further. Now, Paisano is closed off between cotton and eucalyptus until further notice. We'll, of course, continue to follow the story and bring you the latest both on air and online at KVIE.com. But for now, reporting from South Central El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC7. All right, Brianna, thank you. And of course, we have complete coverage of this fire on the KVIA News app. You can download it by scanning the QR code on your screen. The app is free and you can also download it from the App Store or Google Play.